Okay, so this is the second video of two. Uh, in the first video, we, we installed the Time Machine software. In this step, we're going to actually program uh, an oscillator to show you how it's done. Um, so again, this is the, the package for Time Machine 2. If you open it up, whoops, the USB cable flies out. Um, you can see the samples, which we're going to use in a moment over here on the left, the Time Machine, the sockets that are used for um, uh, connecting the oscillators to it, our software, which we already use, so we're not, we're not going to touch this, um, our USB cable, and our tweezers. So um, the first thing we're going to do is plug in the Time Machine and start up the software. Uh, and then we're going to get some uh, oscillators and sockets out and, um, and program them. So the very first thing we'll do is pop out the Time Machine. And just like in the last video, we plug one side of the USB cable into the computer, the other side into the Time Machine. Um, and again, you can see the red LED means that it's powered up and ready to go. Um, and then uh, what we can do is start the Time Machine software. And also, just like last time, we'll see down in the bottom left that it says that it's connected and ready to go. Um, but now what we're going to do is actually take an oscillator out of this sample uh, package and uh, program it. So the very first thing we'll do is you can see, um, here we go. So you can see there are three different socket boards. Each one of them has two sockets. Um, so today we're going to actually program a 5032. is a 5 millimeter by 3.2 millimeter package. Um, and it's on this red board. But each of the boards is color coded in the blue, green, and red. So we're going to pick the red board. Um, and we're going to use the socket on the left because, like I said, it's a 5032. Um, this is a 7050 on the right. Um, so you can see we have a socket here. And so this is where the part's going to go. And you can see that there are six little copper pins. Um, or, uh, but, but really, um, this, this configuration works with either four pin or six pin oscillators. Um, but, but actually today we're going to show you a differential oscillator which has six pins. So we just take this guy and plug it into the time machine. Um, and it can only go in one direction, so you can't get it wrong. And also you can see that the two arrows line up with each other. Um, so now we'll pop open the socket. And from the package, what we're going to pick as an example is the, um, the 9121. Um, so this is a differential uh, oscillator with a, a LV Peckle output. So pop open the sample, and you can see we have uh, a good number of oscillators here. Um, so we'll just pick out one of them. And you can see uh, this is one of the larger package sizes, but it's, it's quite small. Um, but I picked this so it's a little easier to handle for the video. Um, so you can see we have the, uh, the oscillator here. In the top left, there's a small white dot on the, on the, on the oscillator. Um, and that is going to align, that, that's pin number one. So we're going to plug it in to the uh, side of the socket with the little white arrow here. Um, so pin number one goes in the bottom left corner of the socket. Um, so we'll just plug it, or drop it in like so. And then close the socket. So now we have the oscillator is safely tucked away inside of here. So now what we're going to do is inside the software, um, we so there are two channels. Channel one is the socket on the left. Channel one, channel two is the socket on the right. Um, so we're using channel one, and then we're going to actually use the part number generator. If you already know your part number, you can just enter it in. Um, but in this case, we're going to walk through the the process. Um, so we'll click on part number generator. Uh, and then we're doing a 9121. So this is a diff differential oscillator down here. Um, you can see there's a whole range of different uh, oscillators that, that are all supported by Time Machine. Um, so we click on 9121. All right, so now we get to pick a frequency. Um, I'm just going to pick 125 megahertz. Uh, but really, um, any frequency that's supported by the, the part can be uh, entered here. Um, so this is an LV Peckle part. Um, and I know that based on the uh, part number on this, this uh, container. Um, if you picked LVDS and it was an LV pipe part, um, then it would just throw, it, it, it would give you a, a red warning message. Um, so we picked LV Peckle. Um, we're going to pick plus or minus 25 ppm for the frequency stability. Um, these parts are calibrated, so they can support any, any level from plus or minus 10 ppm to uh, 50 ppm here. Um, we'll say we're going from minus 40 to 85, 3.3 volt supply voltage. Uh, then this is a 5032 package, um, and then finally we have an output enable pin, um, and that's uh, default for this for this uh, product. 
we click on OK, and so you can see it actually generated the part number as we did this. Um, now at this point, you could actually click on data sheet if you had internet. My computer is not on the network right now, and that would actually uh, go to our website and pull up the data sheet for you. Um, so now we've put in part number and we're ready to go. So we just click on the program button, like so, and we can see right now it's programming and it's busy. So this just takes a couple of seconds. Um, so the first line it says it, 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 it ran the test, it, it programmed it, and it says that it passed the test. And then it verified that it was programmed correctly, and it also says pass. So two green lines means it's good. Um, so it's programmed now, so this, this oscillator, we, we cannot reprogram it. Um, if we did try to, it would just throw a red warning message. Um, but so this part is burned in and ready to go for your application. Um, so now that it's done, we can just take our tweezers and pop it open, pull out the oscillator, and just we'll put it in our gel pack for, uh, for safekeeping, um, along with a previous oscillator that I programmed a few moments ago. Um, so that's about all there is to programming uh, oscillators on the fly with, uh, with Time Machine. And like I said, I showed you all the options, but really, um, you know, you can make them hit any frequency, any supply voltage, any combination of parameters. Um, so you can kind of do everything on the fly instead of need to order some additional uh, batch of, of oscillators and, and waiting a couple weeks for them to, to arrive. Um, so this concludes video number two of two uh, of, about Time Machine. Um, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.